All right, so this right here, my solar's not charging. I mean, it's in the shop right now, but solar's not charging. And one of the reasons might be because this, look how badly melted this fuse holder is. And this is one of the, um, I guess, slow cable or slockable uh, brand ones that come with the Renji kits, a 30 amp fuse. And it's melted to the point where even the clips are going to be, this clip is going to be difficult to get out. So I've got my Dremel. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Dremel that plastic away until I can get those clips out without damaging this side of the of that MC, uh, I guess MC4 connector. I think that's what these are. Um, this one works. This one's fine up here on this side. I can't do it one-handed, but it's fine on that side. But you can see that it's melted so bad that it's deformed quite a bit. So I'm going to Dremel that and get that replaced. And what I ordered to replace this is because it's, so I did some reading on reading. This is, so this is like the background. I found that this design, what it is, it is it fails to make a good contact inside the fuse holder with the fuse. So that bad contact is what creates a lot of heat. And that heat obviously is what melted that. So I don't know if the fuse is good or not, or if it's just the fuse holder, but either way, I'm just gonna get rid of this whole piece. And what I got to replace it is, um, there's only one company that makes these. They're called Stobley or Staubly. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give a link, it's right there, St Staubly. Um, but yeah, this is what it is. There's the part number and information. This is also a 38. Sorry, my dog's barking. Um, this is also, a 30 amp fuse holder, but it is a proprietary design um, that the where the fuse on the inside is crimped and it makes a lot better contact throughout. I, I, I'll see if I can find a uh, like a schematic of the inside of this thing to kind of put up on with the video. Um, but yeah, this is a 30 amp, and these are these aren't too expensive. They're about, this one's 35 bucks as a replacement. So I'm gonna get this knocked out, and uh, we'll see how how this uh, works with the system after we get it back out and uh, charging with the solar. It's still kind of in solar or in uh, storage right now because we've got it in the shop. I uh, kind of winterized it, but we're gonna be going on a trip um, here next month. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get this knocked out. All right, well, on second guess, I'm going to replace this whole cord here. It's just uh, four to one, so. And the reason is because it's it melted so badly that it fused inside this thing. I got the clips off with the Dremel pretty easy, um, but see how brittle it is from getting so hot. So anyway, this is ruined. It's not a big deal. These aren't. I mean, they got a whole bunch. I've actually got a bunch of these as spares, um, but I don't want to use this design anymore if it's going to continue to have this same thermal issue. So. I'm just going to order another one of these four to ones and then I will replace the whole thing along with the uh, Stably uh, 30 amp inline fuse holder. So, All right, so I got my new uh, four to one solar connector from Renogy. That's the part number in case anybody needs it. Um, it's a four way connector and it comes with um, a set of four to one male and also four to one female. So everything you need all in one. All right, so all I need is actually the female four to one from Renogy. And then on the other side is a uh, male and that'll connect to the female side of the Stably uh, fuse holder. And then that'll go into the female side into the uh, camper. All right. And that's everything buttoned up. I'll come back and replace these with uh, black ones so they don't, you know, get beat up in the sun. But the Stably fuse holder is right here. And it's charging now. So I'm actually, I came up here to clean them off. Um, there's 180 watts of charge right now. So I'm going to check with the Renogy manual. And But uh, yeah, it all looks good so far. We're getting ready to pack up and head out. So.